rose still a rose, it don't matter what color it is. You trying to fool somebody like, oh, we ain't celebrate Halloween. We got Hallelujah night. <laughs> Hallelujah fest. Y'all bring all the kids to the church. We gonna, it's on the same day y'all wearing the same almost costume y'all eating almost the same candy. But they don't understand. We talked to them about Halloween. Evil. You can't buy this. Let's go to Acts chapter 8, verse 14. I'm giving you some ammunition. The Sabbath is put here to charge you up for the rest of the, these six days. Because he, this devil will come at you. On social media, TV, your mama, your daddy, your brother, your sister, your kids, your wife, your husband, that devil will come at you through all of it. It don't matter. And I'm not telling y'all it's a sin to have nice things. It's not. All I'm telling you is don't sacrifice your whole time trying to get these things because the Gentiles told you to do this. And he told us not to follow the ways of these white people. And believe me, a lot of these pastors follow the ways of the Gentiles too. Instead of them learning from us, what do they do? They go to those cemetery schools. I know I said cemetery. Cemetery. They call themselves being taught. You can't buy this. It got to be given from God to us. But they said, well, you, can go, you can go to the seminary school, pay a college tuition. They'll teach you all about the Bible. They don't teach, teach you jack. Teach you a bunch of lies of who? The Gentiles. Let me show you that. Acts chapter, four, Acts chapter 8, verse 14. Got a couple more after this. Verse 14, go ahead. Now when the apostles which were at Jerusalem heard that Samaria, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, uh -huh. they sent unto them Peter and John. Yes, sir. Who, when they were come down, prayed for them that they might receive the Holy Ghost. So when Peter and John came down, they were trying to show them how to get the power of God through the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost will lead you to all truth. So they had one guy that was Simon, he was looking at these folks like, man, I want that. I want their power. This is what he tried to do. Go ahead. For as yet he was fallen upon none of them. See, the, once, he was trying to show them, they weren't falling upon them, they were trying to get it in a way it wasn't scripture. It's the only one way you're going to get the power of the Holy Ghost. Go ahead, brother. They're going to tell you. Only they were baptized in the name of the Lord Jesus. That's started one. You got to be baptized in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead. Then lay they their hands on them and they received the Holy Ghost. Yes, sir. And when Simon saw that, through laying on of the apostles' hands, the Holy Ghost was given. He offered them money. What? What did these Sunday preachers tell you? Oh, come on up here. Sow a seed. The Holy Spirit going to fall upon you. Offer them money. What are they telling these churches? I need a $100 line, $50 line. I need all the line. Come on up and get this blessing. God open up a windows of heaven and pour a blessing that you have room enough to receive. And you believe that, because I believe that. I was giving all my money, I was getting broke, because I wanted that power. And the only way that power is going to come, you have somebody like me, Israel, to teach you this. First, you go dip, you can go get baptized in water all you want, and say the name of Jesus. Without knowledge, you won't understand this. Without God sending his angel, which is the Holy Spirit, to lead you to all truth, lead you to a place like this, you won't understand this, because I tried for so many years. And I wanted it. But Simon said, oh man, I'm going to give you some bread. I want this, how I can get this. Here you go. This is what he said here. Go ahead. Verse 19. Said, give me also this power, that on whomsoever I lay hands, he may receive the Holy Spirit. Give me that power. I'm going to give you some money. Give it to me. Go ahead. But Peter said unto him, Thy money perish with thee, 
because thou hast thought that the gift of God may be purchased with money. What these sons of church are telling you every Sunday? Mm -hmm. What they tell you? Sow a seed. Watch the power of God work through you. Only power of God working through me is your God, which is that other Jesus that Paul told us about, told us about, is deceiving people think because they're giving them a lot of money, they're gonna receive this power. You ain't gonna receive it, this power like that. You're not. This is nothing wrong with you giving. At all. Give what you want to give. But you thinking you're gonna get some power like Peter and John? You ain't gonna get it that way. Go ahead, brother. Verse 21. This is what he said here. Thou hast neither part nor lot in this matter, for thy heart is not right in the sight of God. So if you think you're going to give money to get this, your heart ain't right. You don't understand. You really do not understand. You think you're going to get something because you give a pastor some money. Because he's a fool you to give all your money. <laughs> you go home your lights out. No, you should have paid for your life. Man. Trust the Lord. He'll make a way. No, you done lied to me. He made a, you done made a way for yourself and you done took my money. And I should have paid for my life, Peter. This is what Peter said. I mean, Peter and John told him. Go ahead. 22. Repent, therefore, of this thy wickedness. He said, repent this wicked if you think you're going to receive this. This is the ways of the Gentile. Think money is going to do this. Go ahead. And pray God, if perhaps the thought of thine heart may be forgiven thee. You better pray to God, you think, that he'll forgive you for that wickedness. Go ahead. For I perceive that thou art in the gall of bitterness mm -hmm. and in the bond of iniquity. Iniquity is sin. You're in the bond of it. Meaning that you think God operate like that? you deep into it. I was deep into it, following that old Criflo dollar. <laughs> Trying to get that money like he had on that TV. T.D. Jakes, all them false prophets, Joe Osteen, every last one of them took false life, taking these people straight to the lake of fire. If you listen to them, they're not going to tell you about how to serve the God of Israel. They ain't telling you nothing about no Passover, Feast of Eleven Bread, Day of Atonement, the Sabbath day. They all going to be coming together on a Sunday. They all coming together on Christmas. They all coming together on Thanksgiving. Not God on the days. But who holy day? The Gentiles. the Gentiles. Go ahead, brother. 24. Then answered Simon and said, Pray ye to the Lord for me, that none of these things which ye have spoken come upon me. I'm telling you, boy, I pray for y'all all the time in the church that none of that stuff come upon y'all. Keep y'all mind fresh on this word because it's real tempting. Real tempting. Somebody give you something just because. You want it. Some of us don't need this stuff. We just want it. I want this. I want that. What are it going to cost you? That's why I don't like accepting that from nobody. Because you don't like people trying to control me because of the things they give me. That's why Jeff is going to work. Jeff will never receive a salary for this church. Period. I'm always going to work. Let me show you something. If you are acting that way according to the Gentile, you send them a dead, send them a dead church. Let's go to Proverbs chapter 21. We got two more after this. Let me show you. When you follow these Gentiles, these jokers will take you straight to the lake of fire, and you'll be sitting up in that church every Sunday. Thank you, you're doing all right. Thank you, you're doing all right. Thank you. Been sitting up 40 years, and somebody young, like these kids in here, tell you, hey, you know, Sunday is, is uh, Sunday. That's a sun worship day. The Sabbath is God day. We kids can tell these people who've been in church for 40 years that, and they'll look upon them like they eat. Where you get that mess from? I want you to come back down to that ball shop. When you used to tell them kids that all the time they here, they go home and tell their mom and dad, no, you got to find your little ball shop. <laughs> <laughs> so I started telling them, look, say you read this out of the Bible. Don't say Jeff said it. <laughs> what? These jokes are him? Hear you. Proverbs chapter 21, verse 16. This is, what, this is what the book says about people who follow these Gentiles. Go ahead. The man that wandereth out of the way of understanding shall remain in the congregation of the dead. See, it's a dead church. A dead church when you come and get on Sunday. It's dead. Dead. I know they prospering with all this money. 
they prosper because of the way of the Gentile. It is hard for people to see this because they let money control how they feel. I want to sit in a place like this. I want to be in a big old church. I remember so, so many people tell me, Jeff, you ought to go get you a church. I said, I got one. It's right here in the Bible. Like, no, I ain't talking about it. You need to get you one of them big ones like my pastor. I said, man, I ain't trying to do all that. Wherever the word of God is, that's what the church is. It's not in the building. We can be meeting outside. We can be meeting in some other house. We can be meeting in the park. That's how I started first. We met in the park. It's not about a building. They ain't getting this in these churches, these Sunday churches. He said, man, that one is out of the way of understanding, that means you got to understand something. Let's see what we got to understand. Let's go to Psalms. One book back, 111 verse 9. You're going to remain in the congregation of the dead if you don't understand why your pastor got you there on friends and family day. Why your pastor got you there for a quiet anniversary. I mean, they, they, they have this stuff like a tradition, but he rejects the laws of God. Psalms 111, verse 9. We got to have some understanding. This is why the Sabbath day is so important. To understand, not to come to church to show off the clothes, fellowship, and all this stuff. You come here to learn how to do what? Save your soul. Save your soul. Save yourself. That's it. If you can fellowship with that, that's good. But first priority, learn this book. Learn. Verse 9. Let's see what this understanding talking about. Go ahead. He sent redemption unto his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Mm -hmm. Holy and reverence is his name. He said he sent redemption for his people. How? Through the word of God. He said it there. Preachers, stop walking out behind the pulpit, talking. Get, in this, get behind the pulpit, open this book up and read it just like we read it. And he said right here, holy and reverent. This is this fool thought right here. If a man calls himself a reverend, he's a false prophet. He said, holy and reverend is who name? God's name. I had these preachers, I'm oh, reverend so-and-so. I said, you God? God said, that's his name. We brothers and sisters. He give you names, pastor, pastors, bishop, deacons, deaconesses, evangelists. Those are the names you go about ministering. But when you call yourself reverend, that's a pretty high title, brother. That's too high for any man to have. Or woman. Reverend, that's his name. Let's get some understanding. How do we get understanding? Go ahead. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Mm -hmm. A good understanding have all they that do his commandments, his praise, and do it forever. How do you get understanding? You're doing his commandments and most of all, fear. That's right. Do your own process of elimination. See how much a person loves God. Tell them, coach, you to take a man. Tell them to quote you take a minute. I guarantee they can quote probably about five or six, if that. But they say they love God. I love God. How do you love God when you don't even, you can't even quote his law? The same law you're going to be judged off of. If you don't know him, so when you're walking out there in the world and you commit sin, you don't even know it. Any more than just ten now. There's over 600 some laws in this book. And guess what? Very few know three or four. But they know Jesus. If I confess with my mouth that Jesus is Lord, I'm saved, brother. I don't care what you say, Jim. And I look down at your plate, you eat some pork chops and pen sauce and ribs and all this stuff. I said, who you expect? Who you lying to? I'm looking at your plate. How you saved? Jesus said he's going to kill you when you get to this earth. He said, I'm sure. Let's go to Revelation chapter 18. It's the last one. Revelation 18, verse 1. But God's going to break this Gentile dynasty. He's going to break them all up. And everybody want to see it. Everybody want to see it. This is another name associated with the Gentiles. They run a system. The system they run is the Babylonian system. Or, for a better word, the laws of the land. 
how they tell you to celebrate this, how they tell you not to do certain things. It ain't nothing wrong with doing some some of them things unless it. I don't want to be evil. It's an evil. If it's evil, I'm not doing it. Well, this is what he say about the system of the Gentile. What he's going to do to you? Go ahead. And after these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, uh -huh. having great power, and the earth was lightened with his power. Yes, sir. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils, uh -huh. and, and the hole of every foul spirit, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Well, he's talking about Babylon. It's a system of the Gentiles, the law. This Babylon come from one particular uh, association, which is the Roman Catholic Church. And it is spread all over the world. The whole world is under this Babylonian system. Every one of them. Go ahead. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. You see what he said here? All nations. Everybody here will drunk of it. Everybody. You didn't celebrate Christmas. Mm -hmm. You didn't go. All of us. Who gave it to you? This system right here gave it to you. Babylon. Go ahead. For all nations have drunk of the wine of her fornication. Mm -hmm. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Yes, sir. And the merchants of the earth are whites rich through the abundance of her delicacies. You see what he said? The merchants, the kings, everybody fornicate with this particular person or system, which is the Roman Catholic Church. He goes around all the world and tell these people how to praise him. You just don't know who he is. Just keep your eye on that Pope. He's the man of sin. His seat is Satan's seat. And all the people think he's the most holiest person in the world. That's right. He walk around and kissing his hand. I just showed y'all this. All the people. I'm not saying he's gonna be this one, but he's gonna be the one in that seat. It's gonna be the one in that seat. Well, listen, go ahead. And I heard another voice from heaven say, Come out of her, my people, mm -hmm. that ye be not partakers of her sins, and that ye receive not of her plagues. Come out. Come out of her. How do you come out of her? You obey the laws when you keep them. Instead of keeping their law. Oh, good, fold you not. Nice. We don't fall. It's the fold. Wait, what kind of, what kind of outfit you're going to get? I'm going to get the, I'm going to get the shorts with the flag on it. The flag on the shirt, you know. Give me some, uh, what we call it, some stars on some Air Force Ones and all this stuff. I'm looking at these niggas. What I'm looking at them. You was in slavery on the 4th of July. Your ancestors was in slavery. And you celebrate this. I don't care because we're going to barbecue. That's all we worry about, barbecue. 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 It's yeah. some food that we get. That's right, bro. That's us. He told us to come out of there. Come out of there. Go ahead. Verse 5. For her sins have reached unto heaven, and God has remembered her iniquities. They sinned so much upon her, they didn't reach unto heaven. Meaning that God is waiting any minute now. I'm telling y'all, we almost at the end of this thing. Are you seeking out the riches of these Gentiles? The world, the world is ending right before your eyes. That's right. By the time I know it's ending, when they talk about a black woman on some money, it's ending. <laughs> when we got a black president, it's ending. <coughs> what white folks do? When you move in the neighborhood, what they do? They move out. out. It's ending. <coughs> everywhere. They done moved out so much they can't move nowhere else. We everywhere. All I'm telling you is, this is what's going to happen. Come out of her. Come on. Man. Come out. Go ahead, brother. Reward her even as she rewarded you. Mm -hmm. And double unto her double according to her works. And the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. Yes, sir. Go ahead. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. Mm -hmm. So much torment and sorrow give her. For she said in her heart, I sit a queen, and am, am, and am no will, and shall see no sorrow. Because the world is wondering after who? The mother church. Right. Who going to take the pope down? Who going to take the system down? 
They can't see that Jesus is going to come in and take your time. They think it's going to be forever. These white folks are going to forever. They think that. But it's going to be broken. And these people, and our people, trying to be just like them. Right. It's so crazy. They bleaching their skin now. Yeah. They, they, I mean, the white folks trying to look like us. Mm -hmm. We trying to look like them. They got an oxymoron, if you want to call that. This <laughs> is crazy. And you, I know I use it in the wrong way. But I see my wife out there looking like, you know what that's their eyes for? <laughs> well, it's, it's backwards. <laughs> Put it like that though. <laughs> Go ahead, brother. Verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine, mm -hmm. and she shall be utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judges her. When did they gonna come? The tribulation period. We read about the feast of trumpets. When he blow those trumpets, he said a third of the of the water shall be bitter. Uh, he gonna destroy a third of the men. He gonna destroy a third of the, the tree. He gonna destroy this world. He gonna burn this whole earth up during the tribulation period. But these sons of churches ain't preaching this. You know why? They scared you ain't gonna come back and give them no more money. They ain't worried about you getting no salvation. You merchandise. You will cause no, he's a house no, he my clothing, but she my clothing bill, he my shoe bill. This is how they look. I can't say nothing about him because he gave $10,000 every year. I know he slept around with his wife. I know she fornicated. I can't preach no message about it. I got to keep my hand. This is what they do just to keep their bread rolling. Instead of going out there working just like me and you doing, we work every day, except for the Sabbath, we get working just to earn a living. But he can't sit back in fat. I'm talking about they working seven out of pool. This ain't work right here. This ain't work. But go ahead, bro. Verse 9. Uh -huh. And the kings of the earth who have committed fornication and live deliciously with her, yes, sir. have a way of her and lament for her when they shall see the smoke of her burning. He always give you an example about fornication. When you fornicate, you have sex before marriage. Fornication. He give you that same example. You want out there and put this other system above God's system, you fornicate on me. I'm gonna kill you just like I'm gonna kill all the fornicators. I'm gonna kill you. So I tell y'all, be all fornicated, get it right, man. You got time, get it right. Go ahead, brother. Standing up far off for the fear of her torment, saying, uh -huh. Alas, alas, that great city, Babylon, that mighty city, for in one hour is thy judgment come. He gonna take it down in one hour. I mean, it gonna come down so quick, it gonna make their heads spin. They ain't gonna see it coming. A little lesson saying, peace, peace, and sudden destruction shall come. When, they, when they, these people around the world start talking about peace, you better be looking around. You better know the signs of the end. That's right. You better be looking towards Jerusalem and see if they're going to build that third temple and that Pope over there in the temple to call himself God. That's when we know it's time to go. It's time to go. Go ahead. And the merchants of the earth shall weep and mourn over her. Mm -hmm. For no man buy her merchandise anymore. When he destroy this, this system, the, the world will weep. The ones that on the side of Babylon, this holy city and their doctrine. They're gonna be with you. You know why? Because they ain't gonna be able to make no more bread no more. It's gonna be done. But we as poor people are like, yeah, I'm waiting on this, I'm waiting. I'm waiting on this. I'm looking for it. Go ahead. The merchandise of gold and silver, and precious stones and of pearls, mm -hmm. fine linen and purple and silk and scarlet and all fine wood and all manner vessels of ivory and all manner vessels of most precious wood yes, and of brass and iron and marble Go ahead. and cinnamon and odors of and ointments and frankincense yes, and sir. wine and oil and, and the flour and wheat and beasts and sheep and horses and chariots and slaves and souls of men. See what he said? He's going to destroy all of that. He said slaves. And the souls of men, if you on the side. He did a good job reading the name. He said, we are going to destroy all that. So if you're seeking after the Gentile way, this is your destination. This is what you in store for. This is what you're going for. 
If you reject God, this is what's going to happen. He's going to destroy all of this. Go ahead. And the fruits that thy soul lusts after are departed from thee. Mm -hmm. And all things which were dainty and goodly are departed from thee. And thou shalt find them no more at all. Because when this time hit that three and a half year triple X period, ain't nothing going to be the same. Stick around. We, we, we covered that already. Nothing going to be the same. Destruction going to hit this earth because cause most people got their mind on the materialistic stuff. They ain't got their mind on this. In an hour, he said, I'm going to destroy this. Quick. Quick. Go ahead. The merchants of these things which were made rich by her mm -hmm. shall stand afar off for the fear of her torment, mm -hmm. weeping and wailing. And Don't the merchants gonna be crying like, man, we cannot make no more money off these people. They broke them. Go ahead. And say, alas, alas, that great city that was clothed in fine linen and purple, scarlet and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls. He gave you a clue there. Clothed scarlet. Who clothed scarlet? The Pope and his folks. He gonna be strong. And this whole system that they gonna lead. Go ahead. For in one hour so great riches is come to naught, and every shipmaster and all the company and ships and sailors and as many as trade by sea mm -hmm. stood fall. Yes, sir. And cried when they saw the smoke of her burning, saying, What city is like unto this great city? They crying like, man, we had all this stuff. Look at it now. Ain't no way we're going to recover from that. God knows how to. When he destroyed, he knew how to destroy it. He destroyed it from the root. Go ahead. And, and they cast dust on their heads and cried, weeping and wailing, saying, Alas, alas, that great city wherein was made rich, all that had ships in the sea by reason of her costlessness. For in one hour is she made desolate. But them dudes going crazy. They cast dust on their feet like, oh man, we don't get no more food, no more riches. They going crazy. Why are they going crazy? Because they're not following the book. Because we know we don't have all this stuff. We trying to get some of this stuff. Some of it. We trying to get it all. We want to have, we want to live kind of okay. But most of the people in the world, they are sick. They seeking after the way of the Gentiles. That's right. They are killed for it. You know how they care for it? You tell them you got some money in your pocket, five thousand dollars, or you win the lottery. They're coming kill you for this. Kill you for this money. Go ahead. Verse 20. Rejoice over her, thou heaven, and ye holy apostles and prophets, for God has avenged you on her. So we rejoice. He said rejoice that this happened. It's good. Because it's our time after that. Not Israel going around. Well, I hope y'all understand it's going to be in the lesson. These Gentiles, don't follow out the way of the Gentiles. They sacrifice the devil and they worship the devil. Understand that.